Well, it looks like it's finally time to start leveling. All of the patch notes in the Wayfinder Wednesday is pretty much what I went over in the last video about XP, but in this video, we actually have the numbers to talk about what the XP changes actually are, and they are pretty huge. So let's go ahead and jump into those without looking at a lot of this other stuff. So this is gonna be patch 1.10. 0.1.10 and it's talking about the increased XP gains and if you guys can see it it says increased XP gains from all enemies by 386% this includes mini bosses and bosses and expeditions and hunts increased XP from expedition completion bonus by 237% increased reward tower XP from all reputable sources by 325% oh my god wow and I'll have a video up here on the screen with me kind of completing a dungeon and you can see the kind of experience that it has going on with it. I actually leveled up like one and a half levels on the weapon and I went up a whole level on the character. So it's like NIST level 10 and temp, um, Juggernaut level 10. So it was a pretty cool amount. It sounds like it'd be a lot more fun to go through these dungeons and actually feel like you're making progress on whatever you're running with characters or weapons. And there's also some more things here with the increased reward tower XP. This is includes opening chests, breaking resource nodes, collecting memory fragments, completing events and completing expeditions and hunts. So make sure you're doing all of that stuff when you're in dungeons. But they also added the XP multiplier to each mutator slot. So if you have slot one, it's gonna be a 10% bonus. 20% bonus if you have 22 imbuements in and a 30% bonus for three imbuements. So you're getting even more experience points. Now, of course, it's like it feels like an overcorrection, but this is temp this is gonna be permanently in the game. And then with the reward tower XP, when job boards get into the thing and other the resonant XP scrolls, then they're gonna go ahead and take a look at it, see if it needs some fine tuning or adjustments. But the XP bonuses are fully in the game now. They have no plans currently to take them out. So this is it fixed the bug on the expedition hunt completion screen that was displaying the incorrect XP gain. Fixed the bug with Windgrave's Divine Ages upgrade at rank two, resulting in exponential increases in damage, and fixed tooth and claws visual effects being misaligned when sheathed. So they finally fixed that. You know, it looks like you have a little halo going around with the buzz saws around your head with tooth and claw. Now they actually fixed it, so it should be properly on your back spinning in the proper place. Now it says, note, we we'll revisit this reward tower increase in the future when the job board has been released. It's just a job board and XP resonance scrolls, but I think they have a typo there. They were in a hurry to get this out apparently. And those are their immediate plans, but they'll continue to look forward to improve XP experience and let us know our thoughts on our socials and Discord feature of Loop. Now there were some more things here in the Discord that they mentioned. That they talked about apparently there was something that was supposed to be in this patch another xp buff that didn't make it into this patch so it's going to be in the next update it says here also good news is the next patch will be another xp buff because someone forgot to submit a change so that's today's leak there's going to be even more xp coming into the game so that's good it's all good news good news now what else is on this is going to be talking about some tips and tricks that uh, winning graves righteous strike if you're holding a sword and shield or melee weapon, it's actually like a slash or a sweep attack. And if you're just holding a ranged weapon, like, you know, a rifle, then it'll do a spear attack. And I'm showing that here. I talk about player compositions and the fact that you don't have to have your matchmaking turning on and off every time you go and jump into a dungeon. And then there are also some cool community events going on. One is a chaotic gloom event where there's some teams going on with prizes where you can get 2000 room silver, the gloom dagger USB drive, wayfinder, a t-shirt. A thousand rune silver signed by Joe Mad poster and uh, third place is 500 rune silver. And then there's another one going on by Caleb Borda that you can still sign up for before the 15th. You need three people. Got all the rules up here. I'll put this link to the Wayfinder Wednesday in the description and down below so you guys can go check that out and see where you need to go to hop in the Discord and check all that stuff out if you guys are interested in joining these. Uh, speed time tra time chases time challenges i'm not very fast at killing bosses in this game so you won't see me in here but this first one actually has like three teams of like snarf as a team airship with snarf cam and luke then we got 
Tominator, Wolfer, and Vecna. We got uh, one with Atlantis in there. So it's pretty cool. A lot of uh, creators and stuff got together to do this little time challenge, as you guys can do. And then there's another tournament you guys can take place in. So that's all of our news here today for uh, Wayfinder Wednesday, the update for the XP. Make sure you like this video because that is a huge boost in experience. It's so crazy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.